Welcome to MLB The Show. Hello, everybody. This is Steve. Hello, baseball fans. I'm On a balmy summer night in the Rocky Mountains, the show comes to you from Coors Field in downtown Denver. Tonight, it's the third of this four-game weekend series between the Philadelphia Phillies and the Colorado Rockies. It'll be fun watching these two swing it all series long. First pitch is next. Yulis Chassin is on the mound for the Rockies in this one. Eric, any thoughts? He threw a real gem in his last game. Complete game shutout. He'll look to repeat that kind of performance here. Ben Revere strides forward, and we are set for baseball Leading here this evening. Center fielder, number two, Ben Revere. And we are underway tonight in Denver as the first pitch is looked at for ball one. E.K., as we take a look at the Rockies starting play here tonight, well, they've been playing some pretty first good pitch. baseball, five and Six two over their last seven. Yeah, and you look back to that last game, you'll take production like that anytime you can get it. It makes a starter's life easier. Heck, it makes your whole staff breathe easier. Outside, two and one. Game time temperature tonight, 62 degrees, but should drop into the 50s before we're done. Swing and a looper to left. And there to put it away is Gonzalez, and there's your first out. In Time now for a glance at the time. Phillies batting order so in this one. Who's the one to watch, E.K.? Well, guys, Sal Perez is definitely a guy to watch right now. He's got an on-base percentage over 450 in the last 10 ball games. He's been locked in at the plate, not chasing balls out of the zone, and it's been paying off. Brock Holt will come forward now, back in the lineup after being used as a pinch hitter last night. Chassin looks in. Here's the first pitch. And he gets ahead here with the fastball, strike one. That first pitch is going to be key all night long. If he gets ahead early with the fastball, that's when he can get tough to figure out, especially with the arsenal that he has. And that's inside off the plate with the fastball. It's one and one. Time for a look at our umpires in this one. Behind the plate is Earl Hendricks. Yep, yeah, Earl is a well-liked umpire all-around baseball by both pitchers and hitters. The reason for that, he's consistent, and his zone is kind of what you hope for. In there at the letters, one and two now. Not nothing fancy. Three fastballs so far in this at-bat. He could go just about anywhere from here. Bases are empty, one man out. A little late on the fastball, but he's able to spoil that one off, and he'll get another chance. Ready to deliver the one and two. Look out. That one two, almost two. got away from him. Two and two now. And that's a pitch you have to lay off right there. That tight slider busting down and out of the zone. All that can do is tie you up. Neither guy willing to give in, and the at bat will continue. Pitch is popped up. Aquavito is there for it, and he brings it in for the second out of the inning. With a moment now, let's bring in a look at how the Rockies will line up defensively. It's brought to us by Majestic. Eric, what do we need to know? Well, guys, we get to watch one of the best fielding teams in the league. They can go out and get the ball as well as anybody in all of baseball. Makes pitching a lot easier. Michael Franco will get his first opportunity here. Currently leading the league in two of the three Triple Crown categories. Boy, just an amazing season he's had so far, and he's in the top five in average. Maybe he can get enough hits to push himself into that number one spot. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Now a check swing, but he holds up in time. Ball one.
1 0 count. Here it is. Takes this the other way to right. Dickerson is there, and he'll put it away to retire the side. Three up, three down for Philadelphia. The Rockies coming up. We've got no score. Tommy Malone gets the ball for Philadelphia in this one. What's your tank on him, E.K.? Well, guys, one of the areas where he's fared real well, when he gets into jams, he's able to get out of it. He has not allowed a lot of hits when guys are out in scoring position. He'll hope to continue that here in this one. Charlie Blackman comes to the plate to lead things off here Leading in the bottom the half of the first. Center fielder, Charlie Blackman. And here's a fastball called for strike one. These Phillies, Eric Karros, as they enter play here tonight, they come in trying to rebound after a loss that snapped a modest three-game winning streak. Yeah, and the pitching really let them down last time. Too often their guys were falling behind and having to throw fastballs on 2-0 and or 3-1. and That'll catch up with you after a while. One and one count. Here's the pitch. And he'll fall behind now to one and two. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. To two balls and two strikes now. Ooh, there's a tough one to take right there on a one and two pitch, especially after fighting off so many pitches leading up to that one. Grilled right back up the middle, and this is going to get on through into center, a leadoff hit. Well, good start so far for Having the home guys. One, two, three, Fielder. top half, followed by a leadoff single here to start things Gonzalez. off in the bottom. Half. Carlos Gonzalez will stand in, and you can see that surprisingly he hits better versus left handed pitching than he does against righties. Runners on the move for second. Pitch is a cold strike. The throw. It's too high, and he's in there at second with a stolen base. Boy, that's a good jump right there this time. I think he had this one stolen even if the throw is on target. But you see the shortstop have to go up the ladder to get it, and that took away any chance of throwing him out. The 0-1 pitch. Off-speed pitch one, in one. the dirt as he takes it for a ball. Now after the stolen base, any thought of a bunt here to get him to third? This early, I don't really see the need. I mean... Then you're saying we just want to play for one. Yeah, I think later on in a tight ball game, maybe you might see a bunt, or if you're in the bottom of the lineup. But here, I agree with DK. Just let him have it. On the backhand, he knocks it down. And the recovery is too late as he's able to beat the throw to first. So you can mark that one down as an E5, and I bet he'd like to have that one over. Troy Tulowitzki. Will stride in now. Two hits for him, including a home run in last night's contest. Well, he's had seven RBIs in his last ten games, so he is producing runs, and he had another good one yesterday. Hit down the third baseline. Oh. Uh, this gets foul. It's 0-1. First and second here with nobody out. A little quick on that swing, and he finds himself behind 0-2. And, Here it comes, 0-2. That's inside and low. It's a ball and two strikes. That's a good location for that cutter with two strikes. He's either got to take that and hope it's a ball, or he's got to foul that thing off.
The one and two pitch. And now a curveball as he's got to lean out of the way. That one nearly got him. And we'll see him work both sides of the plate with the curveball going forward. Well, maybe not that far in, but he'll move that pitch around. On the ground is short. This could be two. Zobrist on to first, and they get them both. With that, here's a look at the Rockies lineup card for this one. Who stands out to you, E.K.? Yeah, keep an eye on Charlie Blackman. He hasn't been missing much lately, hitting three home runs over the last ten ball games. Not an eye-popping statistic, but still a good indication that he's been in a groove at the plate. Corey Dickerson will stand in now, and his batting average currently good for seventh in the National League. Yeah, and he leads his ball club in hitting, so he's a guy that they really look to offensively. Now a 58-foot no curveball that misses for a ball. And even after the double play, you can still make something out of this inning with a simple base hit here. He's ready. Here's the 1-0. Yeah. And he looks at a changeup in there, 1-1. One one. Men on third with two down. No offer that's on that ball. one. Two balls and a strike. And that's the spot that he's just going to have to keep wearing out going forward. If he can keep running that pitch in on the guy's hands, he's going to be fine. Two one. Here it is. Oh, and not an easy pitch to lay off of, but he did somehow, and he's got it to three and one. Well, with every pitch it misses, he just keeps digging himself a deeper and deeper hole. Ah, comes back with a dandy of a curveball there, and it's a full count, three and two. And that's the beauty of having an open base. You can work that pitch off the plate and try and get him to chase, and it worked out there. Has to be thinking strikeout here. Grounded back up the middle. Franco has it. Throw on to first, and that error won't come back to haunt him after all as the inning is over. Rocky strand one after one. No score. Brandon Jordan will get his first shot here. He certainly had it working so far this season. Up over 350 entering play. Chassin's ready. Here's the pitch. Chop foul right at home plate at strike one. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-1. Slapped hard the opposite way. Dickerson is there. One away. And that's one of those plays where you down. might need to reinforce the laces on your glove after Adrian this inning. Beltran. This is a fastball, and it is hammered. I mean smoke. But he ends up with nothing, and his average is going to go down. Here's the third baseman, Adrian Beltre. As he swings and hits this one, fouled off to the right and out of play. No score here as we play inning number two. Hit in the air to right field. Dickerson is camped under this one. And yeah, that's out number two. Batting six. If you're going to go the, the other way with a pitch, you've got to be committed to it. You Darren can't just have a lazy Ruff. swing and pop the ball out to right field. That's not going to do you any good. Darren Ruff will stand in and as you check out his righty lefty splits no surprise that he hits better against the southpaws than he does against right handers left side Tulowitzki from deep in the hole throw on to first gets him and the side is retired Phillies down in order We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score.
Number 20 digs in here Leading for his for first Rockies. appearance. First baseman, number 20. Here comes the first pitch. A fastball no, off the ball. plate away. It's ball one. First two oh. pitches off the mark here. It's 2-0. and oh. Yeah, he, he's looked at two close pitches. You get the feeling that this is the calm before the storm. I think he'll unload on this one if this thing is anywhere near the zone. Swing and a liner. But this is a foul ball. Set to deliver on two and one. He's fallen oh, behind outside. now three and one. <laughs> he wanted to go after that one but that's a good eye to just watch it all the way in. Hit out towards second. And a throw on by Zobrist gets him at first for out number one. Now that we that have a chance, sense. let's take a look second at how the Phillies will set up on Chase D. Utley. It's brought to us by Majestic. EK, what do you got? Well, guys, remember, this manager has not jumped on board with all the defensive shifts. Still that old-school mentality. Plays guys straight up, so we'll see how that impacts this game. Chase Utley will stand in, and perhaps unsurprisingly, the numbers tell us he's a much better hitter versus right-handers than he is against lefties. And here is strike one call to the 37-year-old veteran up there. Nothing and one. Worth remembering, when you visit this place as a starting pitcher, that breaking ball just does not have the same snap here in the mile-high air. You have to be able to adjust or you can definitely get hurt. Swing and a miss as the count goes to 0-2 on Udley. Boy, when he's got that thing going good, it just takes a nosedive right at the end. Bottom of the second here with no score. And they'll try to get oh, Udley to chase, nice. but he holds off. It's 1-2. and two. All right, so he sort of wasted one up right there. Now I think we'll see a breaking ball down in the zone trying to get him to swing and miss. Chop foul at the plate. It'll remain one and two. Chop foul at the plate, and we'll do it again. Breaking ball oh. there is down. Good job of laying off. It's back to two and two. One out, nobody on. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Revere is under it. He hauls it in without any trouble, and there are two away. Batting you know, he's kind of going through a Catcher. stretch right now where the ball just Michael isn't jumping Buck off his Henry. back. He's got a good pitch to hit right here. Looked like he put a good swing on it, but it just didn't go anywhere. Michael McHenry will make his way in now as you get a look at his splits there on your screen. Cut fastball inside, ball one. Hit high in the air down the right field line. Jordan giving chase. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. Three up, three down for Colorado. We'll move to the third with no score. Salvador Perez will 
stand in now to lead things off. Seven, eight, and nine here to start the third the inning. Catcher, number 13. And maybe one of these guys can break Salvador the string of Perez. six straight retired to start the ball game. Chassin steps into the windup. First pitch on the way. And a high strike to begin the at-bat. It's 0-1. And you know, if you're going to challenge a guy up in the zone with a fastball, why not do it on the first pitch? A lot of times, he's going to be taken anyway, and you just bought yourself a strike that you can now throw anything off of. Off the That's plate, ball. one ball, one strike. On they'll run this one in one on him, two. and he can't Out. connect, so he finds himself down one and two now. <laughs> that got in his kitchen big time right there. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Tried to shoot uh -uh. the corner, oh. and he missed it two and two. Two and two. That's taken high for a ball that's Down full now. Three and two. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. Too close for comfort, and he did a good job just to make contact. Good battle continues as this ball's chopped foul at the plate, and the count remains three and two. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. Now a ball crushed high in the air, deep to left, way back there, and that one is long gone. A solo shot here to left. Number 11 for him on the season, and the Phillies grab a one to nothing lead. About the only silver lining to this one from a defensive point of view is it came with the bases empty leading off an inning. You can survive it when this guy's hitting solo shots, but if he's doing this with two or three men on base, then things can that really is. get out of hand in a Second hurry. Baseman. Here's Ben Zobris ben now. Zobris. Zobris sends that one out of play for strike one. The wind up and the 0 1. And he lays oh. off for ball one. Yeah, looked like he hit the target. That's a tough pitch to lay off, but he made it pan out. And nope. able to lay off the fastball away here. Two and one now. Bases are empty here. Nobody out. Right. And that's in there above the belt, so it's even now. Two and two. A pretty dangerous spot for that one. I don't think it was by design. It's one thing to miss your spots out of the zone, but when you miss in the zone, especially up, that's when you tend to get hurt. And he reaches for one out of the zone and misses rather badly for the first out. Well, being a number eight hitter in the National League is, is really one Not of the nine. toughest positions a guy can be 35. in. You know, you've Tommy got your pitcher Malone. behind you on deck, so guys don't feel like they need to challenge you. You've got to be very disciplined up there, and that time, he just wasn't. Stepping in now, Tommy Malone. As he'll take a look at a high strike that time, it's nothing in one. High pop-up. Aquavito is there for it. And he makes the catch for the second out. 
center fielder. Wow, that's got to be a frustrating at bat right there because you feel like you're all over a pitch. And then maybe your mechanics break down just a little bit. You get underneath it, and it just becomes a harmless pop-up. Ben Revere will get a second crack at it here. He flied out to lead off the ball game. And a ball, 1-0. Oh. Oh. And that's where, if I'm pitching, I just pour a fastball in there. you got to figure he'd be taking to give his pitcher a second or two to get himself together over in the dugout. And this that winds missed. up that's inside for a ball. 2-0 now. 2-0 is the count. Bases are empty here with two men out. And he'll lay the fastball in here to get the count back to two and one. Three and one. And he's got a little bit of work to do now to avoid that first walk. That's lifted the other way out to left. Moving under it, Gonzalez. And the inning is over. But the Phillies strike first on this solo home run. We play two and a half. It's now 1-0 Philadelphia. Leading off the inning, Luis Aquavito. As Leading they'll look the to Rocky. get something going here and even this game up. Luis Aquavito. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. To short. Bronco fields it cleanly. And a good throw gets him one gone. Well, it's still early, but it's also worth noting that he'd be in line for the win if this keeps up as we take a look at the league leaders in games won this season. Well, guys, he's one of the best in the league in that department right now. So it goes without saying. These guys look forward to every start he makes. More often than not, he's going to put them in a position to get a W. He's doing that again so far in this one. Into the windup and the pitch. Yulise yeah. Chassin comes on with one gone here as he looks at a called strike one. Here comes the 0-1. Hey. Fastball, and he's quickly in the hole, 0-2. Yeah, he came with a little bit of a different look that time. This pitch is also in there knee high, and now they've got him behind in the count, 0-2. Filthy change up that time, but he's able to make contact and he'll get another chance. The wind up and the 0-2 pitch. Protecting on 0-2, so we'll do it again. Into the wind up, here comes the 0-2 pitch. Tried to get him to chase the cutter there, a ball and two strikes. Well, you know, when you're behind an account like this, it's all about changing your approach at the plate. you got to shorten up a little bit and just look to put the ball in play. And a good take there. Close, but it's two and two. And the hope was that he would have chased one of those pitches, but now on two and two, I don't think you fool around anymore. And a change up here, but that's taken low in the dirt for a ball. Well, it looked like he had things in control to start him out. So now he's running from 0 and 2 to 3 and 2, and that last one wasn't even close. Now a ball lined to the left side, but foul. Making him work out there. The ninth pitch of the at bat coming up. And he'll get to see another one. It'll be the tenth pitch of this at bat. Locked in a good battle. Here comes another one. Not quick enough that time, and he's lucky to get another chance. Count remains full. Oh. 
Another foul ball, and this battle will continue. He's ready. Now the payoff pitch. And he lays off here. It's ball four. And that is really cause for concern as he's just walked the opposing pitcher. Try as he might, he could not put this guy away. And this has got to be the at-bat of the game so far. To make a guy burn through that many pitches and still come out of it with a walk, well, that's a five-star at-bat in my mind. Charlie Blackman will stand in. He singled the lead off the home first. And it's a great result. You have a long at-bat, see a lot of pitches, and then you have some success. See how he carries it through the rest of the game. Here's the first pitch to him. And he lays off there, 1-0. That change-up away is his ground ball pitch. That's a good job to hold off. The 1-0 delivery. Swing, and he pops him up over toward foul territory. Beltre in foul ground, two gone. The left fielder, number five, Carlos Gonzalez. Carlos Gonzalez, the hitter now. 0 for 1 on the day after reaching on an error his first time up. Yeah, still looking for his first hit of the game, so let's see if he can come through with that one right here. He'll start him oh. here with a changeup, but it's taken for ball one. Wow. Oh, he wanted that one. Probably should have got it, too. Ready with the 1-0 pitch. That'll be a souvenir, and the count will move to 1-1. One one. Foul right at the plate. The count moves now to 1-2. and two. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the one, two. Swing and a high chopper. Fielded cleanly. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. One left for Colorado. They still trail one nothing. Brock Holt is ready here as we begin Leading the top of the fourth. The left fielder, number 30, Brock Holt. Chassin gets the sign. Here comes the first pitch. Oh, yeah. Outside target here, and he hits it for strike one. Ball one. No, that's it. And that's the right spot for that slider. Really try hard to tie him up inside. And that's a good job to lay off, too. Right side. Utley gets to it. Throw to first in time. One gone here in the fourth. Now batting. Yeah, there's a Short good stop. start to the inning. Michael he gets a nice little Franco. Sunday hop. And it's a day early at that. And he's able to make the easy play over to first. Into the box, Michael Franco. Here's a swing, and oh man! Way out of here! So a solo shot down the line in left. 29 home runs for him on the year as the Phillies have taken a 2 to nothing lead. It's got to be getting near the point where they need to make some alternate plans with this guy up there. Now that's his third home run in the series. I mean, what more do you need to see? The batter. Into the right box here. now, Brandon, Brandon Jordan. Jordan. A swinging bunt to the mound. Throw on to that's first, it. two gone. 
Now, you know, even though he's Adrian given up Beltran. two home runs, he's only down 2 nothing. I mean, his guys can get that back in no time. And even though he probably doesn't feel too good about things, he's still very much in this ballgame. Two are gone in the Philly fourth. And set to stand in a guy who seems to get better with age, the dangerous Adrian Beltre. Yeah. And they start him out away with a cold strike. Boy, we're more than halfway through this game, and he's thrown a first pitch strike to 70% of the batters he's faced, so he's pitching very, very well right now. Two out, nobody on. Here's a fastball that crowds him a bit, and it's one and one. Squared that one up just a little late. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. Phillies get one in the frame courtesy of this solo home run. Bottom of the fourth coming up. It's now 2 0 Philly. Back alongside Eric Harris and Steve Leading Lyons. Matt Vaskersian is Colorado the shortstop. Touchdown. Troy Tulowitzki Try. heads forward now Tulowitzki. to start things out for the Rockies. First offering on its way. And he'll miss that's the target that, away with the fastball. It's 1-0. Oh. That evens it up. 1-1. One and one. Look at the two of Whiskey up there. You can't help but think of all the honors that have come his way, despite some pretty significant injury setbacks. A perennial all-star, a gold glover, a silver slugger award winner. This guy can do it all with his help. Around first, heading for second now. And he will pull in here with a leadoff double. Oh, that one sounded right great builder, off the bat. Number six. That's a good, crisp, line drive right here to Dick start shooting him. He'll make it up to second with a leadoff double. Standing in now, Corey Dickerson. As he'll take a oh, look at ball it. one. Well, we'll give you a look there at the graphic. That's now 17 two base hits for the year. Both teams with just two hits apiece thus far. And he no, won't that bite at that ball. one either. It's 2 0. Oh. Looks like he's not going to see anything here. Yeah, I don't think so either. They gave him two shots to see if he'd go out of the zone to try to chase. And after that, I'm thinking they should just put him off. Here's the 2-0. and oh. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Holt over to his left. One out. And the runner, not tagging, will retreat to second base. A uh, fly ball to left's no, not going to do you any number good in 20. this situation. Look, you got a guy on second and nobody out. If you take this to right field and advance a runner, then at least you've made a productive out. Instead, this is just a waste. Number 20 will dig in. 0 for 1 here in this one. First delivery to him on the way. And that misses nope, for ball outside. one. That's just another cut fastball, trying to work that thing back to the outside corner. But he's not getting that call right now, nor is he getting guys to chase it. One and no pitch on the way. Now a ball hits sharply toward third, but a quick glove at third, and there are two gone. Now batting. Uh, we're starting to see some better base. swings now this Chase second time through the lineup. He had them pretty much on their heels the first time through. 
but this ball was squared up about as good as you can do it, and he was fortunate that it was hit right at someone. In is the second baseman, Chase Utley. Now a swing and a ball popped high in the air over toward foul ground. Ruff is there to make the catch, and the side is retired. A golden opportunity to get on the board. Here goes for naught. We're back with more on this Saturday night after this. Darren Ruff heads for the box to start Leading off the fifth in this one. The first baseman, number 22, Darren Ruff. Watches a fastball right there for strike oh one. My. There's his total now just into his fifth inning of work. Nothing too out of the ordinary there. Well, the pitch counts the least of his worries. If his guys don't get him any runs, I don't think it'll matter all that much. Swing and a little tapper. McHenry is up with it. And the fifth inning will start with a ground out. One away. Now oh, this is good pitching Catcher. right there. Really the ties him up with that fastball in on the hand. And he hits just a simple ground ball there for the easy out. Salvador Perez stands in again. He got a hold of one and went yard in his first plate appearance. Well, I think he proved that he can turn on a pretty good fastball and hit it out of the ballpark. So you need a different approach in this at-bat. And he'll try to crowd him there to start the at-bat. It's 1-0. strike there and it's one and one bases are empty one man out grounder down the line at third but this will get foul it's a ball and two strikes Now here's a line drive out to left center. That's over the head of Tulowitzki for a base hit. And at this point, I don't think you could expect baseman, anything 18, less than a two-hit ball Silver. game from this guy. I mean, he's been as hot as anybody lately, and he comes through again here. Ben Zobrist is into the box. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. Well, at the very least, he went down hacking. Striking out is one of the many frustrations that go along with hitting. You have to accept well, that it's going to happen sometimes. And a slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. And this is on the ground for Utley. Could be two. Kubowitzki for one. Relay to first in time. And just like that, the side is retired. Four to six to three. They roll it up to get out of the jam. More from the show, Saturday Baseball, following this message and a word from our local stations. Michael McHenry will stand in to start things out here in the home half of the Leading fifth. For the and you get the sense, Steve, that this crowd's Catcher. been pretty well taken out of the ballgame to this point. McHenry. Yeah, they pretty much had to sit on their hands all afternoon. Not a lot to get excited about so far. And I think that's a credit to that man out there on the mound. He's cut right through this lineup for the first four innings. Yeah. First pitch is a cutter looked at 0-1. Well, you get the sense that what they need is one big hit from anybody in the lineup. If they could get one, it could get them right back in this game because right now they just seem out of it. Set up away with the changeup, but it's one and one. Push to the right side. And don't quite know what was going on there, but he's into first base safely. 
Sometimes it's just better to be lucky than good. Baseman. This ball's not hit Luis hard at all, but Acuavino. it's in a spot where it's going to work out perfectly for him. And he's on base to start this inning with an infield single. Digging in to try it again. Luis Aquavito. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. And now with the double play in order, they'll obviously be looking to induce another ground ball out of him right here. in a strike to start the at bat nothing and one right and this catches the inside corner good spot there it's 0 and 2 well that pitch isn't going to light up the radar gun but it's been effective well it doesn't have to if you get that good movement and put it in the right spot it's plenty good enough to do the job Breaking ball. That's one, in the two. dirt as he takes a ball. That big curveball is not an easy one to take on an 0-2 count. That's a great job of holding on. Both clubs with three hits in the ball game. Still one and two as he fouls it away. Here's the one and two delivery. And another foul ball. Ground ball to second. This could be two. To second for one. On to first. A double play. Uh, I think this one falls under the category of Taylor May. There you go. One, two hops to second. The feed to the bag. And a 4-6-3 double play. That's as easy as it comes. In now, Yulise Chassin. As he takes a fastball oh, off it. the plate for a ball 1-0. and oh. You know, maybe the most impressive thing about his performance so far, he's doing it all in a hitter's ballpark. Well, it's hard to come in here and pitch like this, but he's done a heck of a job. Into his windup. Here comes the 1-0. That one's going to find the seats. Strike one. Yeah. Right there at the belt. One and two now. Yeah, one pitch away now from getting through five shutout innings. And I'll tell you what. The way he's throwing, this could turn out to be a night off for the bullpen. Ripped on the ground to first. Ruff ranges to his right. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Rockies are down quietly. They trail it here two to nothing. Tommy Malone indeed will bat for himself here Being with his guys up by eight. two here in the inning number, number six. Well, I think this is the right Tommy move right here, Malone. Matt. He's throwing the ball well, and, you know, maybe he can do something at the plate, too. And the first you know, pitch of the missed, inning here misses ball. down and in for a ball. It's 1-0. and oh. Not too many strikeouts on the ledger for him so far, but it hasn't really mattered. Yeah, I think ideally you'd like to see him miss a few more bats, but... As long as you're keeping guys off balance and you're letting your defense help you, you don't need to strike a ton of guys out to be successful. And that Colorado bullpen comes to life now with a lefty and a right-hander up to throw. And he's oh, a little huh? too high with that one. Two balls and a strike. This guy is almost no threat up at the plate. I mean, you could get away with fastballs right down the middle if you wanted to. Very weakly on the ground. That winds up foul oh. for the second strike. Oh. 
popped high in the air. Number 20 is there for it. He's got it one away. How about it? Yeah, a good pitch there as he gets the pop out on the fastball as we take a look at his pitch breakdown so far. Ben Revere will stand in again. He's flown out in each of his first two plate appearances thus far. Yeah, and he just needs to make a small adjustment and stay through the middle of the ball. Think about hitting the line driver right back up the middle. Now a ball lifted in the air out for Gonzalez in left. And that's out number two. Well, the left he's allowed just 30. two runs to this Rock. Point. Both oh. of them coming on solo homers. Things could be much different now if those had come with guys on base, but as it is, this has been a pretty good outing. Brock Holt will dig in for a third time now. He's popped out and grounded out so far. The fastball here is he'll take a look at ball one, one, and, one and oh. Strike to even the count. One and one. Two runs, three hits, and one error in the ballgame for the Phillies so far. And a oh. front foot curveball here that misses down and in for ball two. Oh, and not oh. an easy pitch to lay off of, but he did somehow, and he's got it to three and one. All right, good at bat so far here with two away. He's gonna go down in order. At least make that guy work for it. Got himself back into a fastball count now. Into his motion. Here comes the three and one. A little bouncer. Throw in time, and the side is retired. Nothing across here this half of the inning. Top of the order due up in the home half of the sixth. It's the Phillies two and the Rockies nothing. Leading off the inning, Charlie Blackman. Leading and they'll the need Rockies. him to get something the going here. Hey guys, this is the guy Charlie you want leading Blackman. off this inning. He's your leadoff man, so maybe he can get things started. Set the table for a little bit of a rally. Down and in That's here, ball. one ball, no strikes. One out. Fastball got him to swing through it. It's one and one. It seems like we've seen a lot of guys late on the fastball tonight. And he's not throwing all that hard either. But when he throws it off the other pitches, that's where it makes it a little more difficult. Now some action in the Phillies bullpen as a right-hander begins to crank it up out there. No, that's inside. Two and one. Hit hard on the ground to the right. He lays out, but he can't make the play, and it's through into right. So it's a multi-hit game the for him as that ball five. finds a crease into Carlos. right field. Gone. And as you can see there on the team leaderboard, he's currently tops on the ball club in that department as we approach the All-Star break. Yeah, this is nothing new, Matty. Another hit for him. I mean, he's really the guy they depend on to keep the line moving. He's been their most consistent hitter so far. First pitch on its way. Carlos Gonzalez that's it, that's stands in as he looks at ball one here. Nobody out, runner on first. And a breaking ball falls in there for a strike. It's one and one. Looks like he employed the slide step on that last pitch. Well, Matt, the pitcher may have thought the runner might be on the move right there, so he slide steps to hang on to him. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One -one. Hit in the air to left. Holt moving to his left. And he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. 
Whoa, and as a pitcher, you the hold your stop. breath Number anytime two. the ball's hitting the air at this place. But Joe luckily, Lewinsky. he got under this ball a little bit too much, and that runner has to retreat back to first base. Here's the Philadelphia manager on his way out to the mound now. And a change is coming as that's going to be all for his starter, Tommy Malone. So as he departs, he'll remain responsible for the man left aboard, but he cannot lose this one. Lewis Coleman please. will come on now as he now inherits a runner at first with already Number one out 31. in the inning. Lewis Coleman. Troy Tulowitzki will be the first to greet him here as he'll stand in with a runner at first and one away. Ball one. Well, you know, if there's anybody in this lineup capable of getting a rally started, this is the guy right here. Runner at first here, one man out. Downstairs, two balls and no strikes. Well, one of the real strengths of his game is that he's not going to go after a whole lot of bad pitches out of the strike zone. So he's a guy that's going to make you earn it by only swinging at strikes. Lays off a fastball, but it's over for a strike. Two and one. Oh, and a good fastball hitter here. To me, that's a little surprising that he wouldn't be swinging away on two and oh. Throw over to the bag. Runner back safely. Runners on first with one down. That's going to even up the count at two and two. And he misses this one inside, and that'll run things full three and two. Now the question, do you send the guy on three and two with one out? You figure you're going to get something around the plate. He takes strike three called on the fastball. Couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. Well, talk about a difference of 24 hours, man. The right fielder, Yesterday, number these six. guys were hitting everything in sight. Things sure have changed Dickerson. this time around. They haven't been able to get anything going at all. Corey Dickerson will step in now. He's bounced out and flown out in his first two plate appearances. First pitch coming. Here it is. Popped up. Zobrist settles under it near second. Makes the catch, and that'll retire the side. Rocky strand one. They're still down. It's 2-0. Welcome back to Coors Field here in Denver. It's on to the seventh inning now with the Phillies out in front, and it's a good time to check out our game summary through the first six innings so far. Michael Franco is set to get us started Hang for the late innings of this one. Short you know, guys, I love about like this leading off. Franco. He makes good contact, and he can run. And that one's in on the hands to start the inning. It's ball one. Not the first time he's felt the squeeze tonight. Yeah, he's looking and saying, what do I got to do to get a strike? The one and no delivery. Bounced weakly near the plate, but that one rolls foul. Rip down the line, and he'll reach to start the inning as this ball gets through him, a base hit. Yeah, a Not hot shot him. that time, and a Mike tough Hilder. read down there at Brandon third base. Jordan. He just couldn't get the leather on it. Now you see the Colorado skipper up out of the dugout on his way to the mound. And that's going to be all now for Yuli Chassin. 
He'll leave after six and at the very least kept his club in it to this point. Your attention, please. Now New pitcher set to take over the hard throwing right hander Blaine Boyer. Blaine Boyer. Brandon Jordan will be the first to stand in against the new pitcher as he'll do so with the runner at first and nobody out. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Yeehaw! They set the target in and this finds the inside corner for strike one. A look here at the hits per side here in the late going. Barely able to make contact. Down 0-2 now. Not a bad no, pitch there out. with two strikes, but it misses 1-2. and two. And on 0-2, I, I think you're better off trying to bounce that thing rather than leave it up. Now, even though that's high, it's a dangerous spot to miss. Changes up on him, but that's two. in the dirt for Revolve. Still two and two. A runner at first with no outs here. Saws him off here as this ball's popped into the air. And he'll steer clear of the flying debris to make the catch here for the first down. The key here is a first baseman. You've got to be able to stay focused on the baseball, which is easy for me to say. I don't have half a bat heading my way, but that's a nice job down there to take this one in. Prior to the at-bat, a check on first. And a dive, but he's back in. Another look to first. And a dive, but he's back. Here's the third baseman, Adrian Beltre. As he'll take a look at a strike right down the middle, it's 0-1. Is that really the spot you want to be messing with here? Shouldn't be. That's a danger zone if you ask me. weakly to the left. He's got it. Utley for one. On to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. Around the horn they go. Five to four to three to end the threat. Back with more on this fine Saturday night following this. Ken Giles will get the ball now as he'll take over on the mound to start the home seven. Ken Giants. Number 20 will dig in over to the, the spot. First baseman, number 20. Now some movement out in the Phillies bullpen as a lefty and a right-hander start to loosen. Nowhere close with the fastball to begin the at-bat. It's ball one. And that fastball his definitely catches your attention, especially when it's on the inner half. Giles sets. Here it comes on 1-0. One Swing and a miss, one and one. Hit high and deep out to left center field. Revere going back to the track, but he has no chance to make the play. It's off the wall. 
Around second, he'll try for third. The tag, and he is called out trying to stretch two bases into three. Second baseman, yeah, I number guess it's 26. easy to say in hindsight, but to me, this is just way too big a risk. You're leading off the inning. You've already got two bases easy, so he just gets a little too ambitious out there, thinking that he can turn second and go to third, but a great relay nails him. In is the second baseman, Chase Utley. This will take a look at a slider here that finds the zone for strike one. The 0-1 pitch. Just a bit late, and he's fallen behind 0-2. No runs, five hits. No errors in the ballgame for the Rockies thus far. And they'll try to get oh, up to chase, but he holds off. It's one and two. Good high fastball. Maybe something to try and change the eye level there. But now, I might anticipate another slider down in the zone. Maybe even in the dirt. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Fastball, strike three called as he couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. Yeah, he essentially tripled up there. Eight. That means he threw the Michael same pitch McHenry. one, two, three times in a row. You don't see that very often, but it's going to work out for him as he gets the strikeout. Stepping in now, Michael McHenry. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. Bases are empty here with two men out. Hard hit ball to second, taken in by Zobris. And that will conclude matters here in the seventh. One, two, three, go the Rockies. They trail things here two to nothing. Darren Ruff comes to the plate Leading and he'll off start us Alfie. off in the eighth. The first baseman, number 22, Darren Ruff. He's ready. Here's the first offering. High and tight here to begin the inning. It's ball one. They'll ride the hot hand on the mound as this man will stay out there after the one, two, three inning last time around. And the more important set of numbers is that he got that one, two, three against the guys hitting in the middle of the lineup, three, four, and five. So now as a reward, he'll get the matchup with the bottom portion of the lineup. Down low, two balls and a strike. Two and one for count. Hit the other way out toward right field. Dickerson has a beat on it, looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. The catcher, number The 13, humidor certainly doing Salvador its job so Carreira. far as you get a look at our line score for this one. A low scoring affair, very unlike the first 10 years or so of baseball here in Denver. Salvador Perez will stride in again and before he takes his cuts here let's flash you back to the third inning this was just a solo shot but it definitely helped get this offense going first pitch of the at bat and a high strike to begin the at bat it's 0-1 Really a good job so far by this guy out of the bullpen. Yeah, he's come in and really put his stamp on this game. He's thrown a lot of strikes. That's what you want. He had high and deep out there to left center field. Blackman going back. See you later. Over the wall, a home run.
So a solo shot here to left center field. His second home run of the game. And the Phillies open up a 3 to nothing lead. That could turn out to be a real big at bat here in the top of the eighth. The solo shot pushes this lead out to three now, which certainly isn't going to guarantee anything, but definitely a nice cushion to have when you're only needing six outs. Your attention, please. And a new pitcher is summoned from the bullpen as it'll be the left-hander Boone Logan that gets the call. Boone Logan. Now playing second base and batting in the ninth spot. Number 14, Stephen Drew. The second baseman, number 18, Ben Zobrist. Here's Ben Zobrist now as he will look at a first-pitch fastball for ball one. Hits are even right now at five aside. Now a swing and a fly ball. Dickerson sprinting after it, but no chance to run it down. It's a foul ball. One and two. One ball, two strikes. A ball flying around the yard in this one, as you see so far there. Ready on one and two. Just two and two a bit down. low. Tough call, but it's two and two. Gets him swinging, two gone. Nothing better for your confidence than to come uh, right in open. out of the bullpen and strike Pitcher. that first guy out. Ken A lot of times Giles. that'll set the tone for your whole outing. Your Bruce Stubbs will get the call and here Jenny as he'll hit for the pitcher. Number 16, Drew Stubbs. And that misses Inside. ball one. Two out, nobody on. Right. And here's a fastball in for strike one. 91 miles an hour that time. And he pumps the fastball two. by him here. One and two now. He's going to need to crank that swing up another notch if he's going to catch up to those. Swing and a miss, and that ends the inning. But the Phils tack on one more on this solo home run. Bottom of the eighth coming up. It's now 3 nothing Philadelphia. Your Jake Deepman will come on now in relief now as he'll make his 35th Number appearance 63. of the season. Jake Deepman. Leading off the inning, Luis Aquavito. Leading as they'll look to get something going here and even this game up. And so far Luis in this one, they're still Aquavito. getting shut out. So this lead off that bat could be huge if he can just get on right. base because they've been held in check all game. Hits the bottom of the strike zone here with the sinker. Strike one. That's over, uh -oh. but low. It's a ball and a strike. Now action in the one. bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. Right. And he takes a cold strike two. A 
on. They really bunch him up on that one as he swings and misses for the first out. Wow. A real sharp break to this thing. It's a slider. Fourteen. He starts Second it out baseman. over the middle of the plate. Steven the hitter Drew. thinks he's got something that he can handle, and then this thing just makes a beeline right for his hands. That is a tough pitch. Into the box now. Steven Drew, as he'll one take a look at a stretch. slider here that misses for ball one. And time's getting short here. You don't want to have to face that closer in the ninth inning needing three runs. They need to cut that gap down somehow. Line to the right side. But taken in over at first for the second out as that might have been extra bases if it was three feet higher. We're starting to see signs that he's about ready to break out of this slump he's been in. He won't get anything to show for it here, but this is a good swing and a hard hit ball. Unfortunately, though, it's just right at somebody. Charlie Blackman will stand in now with two away, needing to really get something started here. And their chances of getting back into this ball game are growing dimmer by the batter. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. From the stretch, here's the pitch. And here's a slider that's nowhere close, and it's 1-0. and And he misses low with it, 2-0. Two tough sliders two balls, no there, back-to-back, back, and he couldn't get him to bite on either. Now he might have to change tack here, down 2-0. Bases are empty here with two men out. Too high, Ball, and it's 3-0. He's definitely looking fastball there, and you know, he got one, but... Good recognition not to go up and chase it. Here's the three and oh pitch. And that misses as well. Ball four, so it's a four pitch walk here. That probably should have been a strike, but three and oh, sometimes you don't get that call. He puts a man on here on the four-pitch walk. Carlos Gonzalez will stand in now in what could be a real make-or-break situation. And you think at this point you have to get something out of this inning. The further you get into that bullpen, the tougher it's going to be to claw back from this deficit. Takes a pitch that's ruled a strike at the knees. Pretty liberal strike zone there. It's 0-1. And, and from that man's perch in the first base dugout, more of the same. You know, I think the calls have gone both ways, but I bet you'd have a really hard time convincing him of that. The 0-1 on its way. Two. That's taken. Now it's 0-2. Well, no taken now. He's going to have to swing the bat. Two out with the man at first. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. And he'll snap one over to first. Runners back. And a slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. A runner on first with two away. And a slider runs away from him there, and the count levels at two and two. Yeah, that's a great pitch on one and two. He started in the zone and 
Hopefully you'll get that guy thinking he needs to protect. It turned out to be a good take. Chop foul over towards the dugout. Even at two balls and two strikes, here's the pitch. And that one never threatened the zone. It's gone full now to three and two. In danger now of a second walk out of the bullpen. Not exactly providing relief. He's got to find it here somehow. And the oh, runner will get back dang. standing. And another snap throw to the bag. Keeping particularly close tabs on him. Keeps spiking him off. The eighth pitch of the at-bat coming up. Drilled on the ground to short. There is Franco. And as it turns out, the two-out walk doesn't come around to haunt him as that ends the inning. One left for Colorado. They trail it here three to nothing. Welcome back to the ninth inning from Coors Field in Denver as we get a nice shot of the city here tonight. Striding in to start the night, Ben Revere, as they'll look for some added insurance before the bottom ben half of the inning. Revere. He's set. Here it comes. And we kick off the ninth inning with a swinging strike here. Nothing in one. Oh, man, what a perfect pitch right there in a perfect spot. And that's exactly how you have to attack a guy like this. He wasn't even close on that pitch. Lifted the other way to left center. On the move is Gonzalez. He tracks it down. A nice running play, and there's one away. Brock Holt. Brock Holt stands into the box. He could really use a knock here. 0 for 3 in the game so far. Pitch on the way. In tight no, at 93, no. ball one. On the ground, up the middle, Tulowitzki loves it. Throw on the first takes care of him, and the top of the ninth is proving unfruitful thus far. Oh, Two quick seven. outs here. Nicely Shortstop. done there at short. As you see him ranging Bronco. to his left. He takes it on his forehand side and then flips it to first for the out. Standing in now, Michael Franco. Yes, he'll take a cold strike here on a borderline pitch at strike one. When he's got that slider working the way he wants it, it can be such a weapon for him. And there's one, ball one. one. Ah! And he's keeping it down here, and that's a cold strike, too. Well, that one's at 94, so the velocity's good right now. Swung on and missed, and that's the final out of the inning. Three up, three down for Philadelphia, but they're on top by a count of three to nothing. Your attention, please. Now Ninth inning safe situation, and they'll turn Number it over to one of the best in the business, Jonathan the all-star Papelbon. Jonathan Papelbon. Troy Tulowitzki will be tasked now with leading things off in their half leading of the night the as they'll try to the do something to prevent being shut out. The well, whatever they've done for the Troy first eight innings hasn't Tulewitzki. yielded a whole lot so far, so quite frankly, I'm not expecting too much.
Oh, and he goes down to get the fastball as this is hit well onto deep left center field. And he is going to ride this one right out of here. Home run. A solo home run off the bat of Troy Tulowitzki. 12 home runs for him now thus far. And the Rocks are on the board. It's now a 3-1 game. One rule for being a successful closer, you got to keep the ball in the ballpark. And he's still got a lead to work with after this home run, but his margin for error is pretty much gone now. Corey Dickerson will stand in, and they've been able to hold him in check so far. The over right three to this point. Six. Yeah, it's kind of surprising Corey. that he's been a non dickerson this one. Usually a major force in their offense. Baffled on comes set. First pitch on its way. <laughs> right there for strike one. No outs, nobody on. And it's quickly on two. Ground ball right side. Backhanded. And he'll just make it to the bag a step or two ahead, and there's the first out. Now batter, number 20. Number 